Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I'm Caroline, and today I wanted to do a summer favorites video. All things summer, I mean, I have bathing suits, cover-ups, makeup, food, working out equipment, sunglasses, I have everything random. It is very Amazon heavy. I think I'll start off with the Amazon products and then do everything else at the end. So please subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a thumbs up and let's get started with the haul. Start with my newest bathing suits. So I bought quite a few. I believe they're all Zaffle. I get them off Amazon. I've gotten them off Zaffle too. They are a little bit cheaper on Zaffle. I think it's Zaffle. Yeah, I think Zaffle, but they don't come as quickly like I get these on prime and I'm fine paying a little extra because I know also returning them is going to be a lot easier so this first one I got in a size large I got a medium at first but it was just not working for my chest it was too small in the chest it was giving me like weird uniboob situation so this is the top it is so good for tanning it's so cute it's thick enough and then the bottoms are a little cheeky they're nothing crazy and these are the bottoms again size large I don't, is this even right? Sometimes with these bottoms, I can't tell if it's like this way, this way, you know, but the bottoms aren't too cheeky. I'd say they're like half a nice like middle point, but I have been loving this bathing suit for tanning, super nice. Again, I got a large because of my chest. So I would say if you're like more in proportion, you could definitely get a medium. I'm 5'7", around 128 pounds. And then I'm just definitely bigger on my chest than the bottom. So that is why I end up getting a large in a lot of these bikinis. Next, this bathing suit, I can't remember who makes it. I got a large, and I don't know in what world this is large. <laughs> I will insert photos as well. I'm not gonna do a try on haul right now, but I have photos in like a ton of these, so I'll post them as I talk about them. This is so cute, I got this for Arizona. It is all twisted. It's like a really cute, almost bandana print. But yeah, this is a size large, and in my brain, this is like a medium at best. I took the padding out because the padding was really small. So these are the top and then the bottoms. Again, I would say they're a little on the cheekier side, but nothing crazy, not like a thong bikini. They are pretty big. Again, I had to get a large because of my chest, so that's the back, but really cute. I would definitely say if you're my size or smaller, these bikinis will be great for you. But if you're any bigger than me, I have to be really careful because the sizing is so whack on these, I, I don't understand. Next, another Zaffle bikini. I am a medium, I bought a medium and a large in this. So I wear the medium bottoms and the large top. So this is the top, I think it goes this way. I really like how the tie back is like this because since I am bigger in the chest with like smaller rib cage, I really have to adjust the rib cage area or else it's just too big and falls off me. So this is the top and the bottoms are really cool. So the back has, you'll see it, I'll post a photo of it. The back has this little piece that kind of goes, this is so complicated. I'll just show a photo, but the bottom's really cute, not cheeky at all, like almost full coverage, honestly. And they are somewhat adjustable because of these side ties. Rib material, really nice, really thick. And then I also got that in tie-dye. This is actually still wet. I wore this to the pool yesterday. Again, this is a size large because I needed it for the top. The bottoms are a little bit big on me, but because they are adjustable with those ties, it's a lot, it's just, it's manageable. It's not too crazy big on me. So I got it in tie dye too. Rib material, the padding in this is great. This has really large, like actual nicely sized padding, which I sometimes struggle with with bathing suits. So I have really been loving these. Great for tanning if you can't tell. Like I'll wear these occasionally, but a great bandeau bathing suit is all you need for tanning in the summer. Some other Zaffle bikinis you've seen on my channel before is this butterfly one. I think this was a collab with Jessica Howell. It's really nice for tanning once again. I took the padding out of this one. I also have it in black. They are so nice, so flattering. You can either tie it around your back both ways or this top one you can actually tie around your neck. So there's a couple different ways to wear it. It's really flattering. I got a size large in this too, but the bottoms are adjustable. They came apart, that's great. But again, I love an adjustable bottom, especially Especially, I wish you could mix and match the sizes. You can't on Zaffle and you can't on Amazon, so it's one size for both. So I always get this adjustable strap because I know I'm gonna need it for the bottoms. And then you've also seen this triangle bikini on my vacations before. It is Zaffle, it is really flattering. I'm just gonna post photos because these are all over the place, like so stringy. So that's the top. I would say the bottoms are medium coverage. They're not too cheeky. So those are the bottoms. I love Zaffle. I have had really good luck with them. Besides having to return a medium for a large, 
I haven't had any problems with the quality. They've held up. A couple of these I've had for years. They're really nice. So I will link everything down below that I talk about, but all these are really affordable. I would say on Zaffle, they're probably like 12 to $18. On Amazon, they're more like 18 to $28, but I think it's worth it for the return policy and how quickly you get it. So again, I'll link all these down below. They're totally worth it. I am very happy with them. And what's really nice is like, because this is white, it's actually double lined. So it's the butterflies on the other side. You kind of see like there's a middle part and then on the bottoms, they're actually blue on the inside, so you don't have to worry about it being white and see-through when you get in the water. This I got for my vacation in Arizona. I did not realize how trendy this would become. I got this in late April and it exploded out of like nowhere. I see so many YouTubers, influencers on Instagram wearing this. I love it. It's super sturdy, it's really cute and super affordable. And then I also got this cover-up. I'll post a picture of it because it's kind of hard to see. It's just a black crochet. It's a quarter-length sleeve and it's like not super see-through, I would say. Like I wouldn't wear it to go eat brunch before going to the pool or the beach, but it's really light and it's really, I would say just like a more classic cover up that you can't really see too much, but it's really nice quality. Pieces, I have pajamas. So I have a set, so these are the bottoms. They are so silky and nice. They're not real silk. They're like 25 bucks for a set, so they're not silk. They're, I wonder what they're made of, but they're by Serene Delicacy. I have about five sets of these, long sleeve and short sleeve. They are so comfortable and so breathable. It is right now 91 degrees in Georgia and I sleep in these so well. They are so nice and light. So I definitely recommend checking these out to honestly wear you around. And then they have long sleeve and pant versions too. But I just feel so much more put together when I wear a matching set to sleep. In the summer, you are always wearing your sunglasses. So you've definitely seen these before. These became really popular a year or two ago because they're kind of like the Celine knockoffs. But I actually got a set that is a set of four. So they have the black ones, then they have a like partial tortoise shell, a full tortoise shell and like a light color. They are in like a beach bag or a purse. I cannot find the other two, but these are so flattering. The whole set was about $15. So you can throw them in your beach bag, throw them in your purse. If you lose them, it's not that big of a loss. And they're really flattering on so many different face shapes. What I realize I do more in the summer is read. Whenever I lay by the pool, I just love reading, having a drink, lounging around. So my Kindle is a big recommendation. I have my library membership too, which gives me um, like so many Kindle books. I think Kindle Unlimited is honestly stupid and don't pay for it. But my Kindle is just my like ride or die year round, especially in the summer laying out, especially when you really want to get a tan, but it's so hot. It kind of helps distract you from just like sweating so badly so my kindle i will link the kindle case as well i have the kindle paperwhite i've had it for about four plus years now it is held up it is so nice so definitely a kindle while you're at the pool with a margarita is just like nothing sounds better on a summer day than that during the summer i feel like i drink a lot more drinks whether it's just water because i am so dehydrated for the 90 degree heat or because i'm having drinks by the pool or drinks on a rooftop so if you're at the pool i like to have my reusable straws I have been using these for years now. I just put them in the dishwasher, dishwasher safe. I also have metal ones, but I know people don't like metal ones. I don't know if it's like the feeling against their teeth. I'm not really sure, but I have a ton of these reusable straws that are super nice. So again, everything will be linked down below. I think these are like $9 on Amazon. Then I have two hydro flasks. So the first one I have is actually their wine. So it has like a little opening for you to drink. Honestly, I don't even use that. I usually just have it like this. So where we live is open container. So I just pour some wine or mixed drink in here. At the beach, it's really nice because nothing's worse than warm alcohol on the beach. So hydro flask makes a couple of these. I know they make like the beer can holder, some taller ones for mixed drinks. So I really like all of their products and they keep things really cold. And then also you don't wanna get dehydrated. So a normal hydro flask, this is the 32 ounce with the straw lid. I definitely think you should get the straw lid. It helps you drink it so much more quickly and you just drink so much more water I've noticed. So they have a 40 ounce, I believe is the biggest. Either way, you can't go wrong. Hydro flask products are seriously the best. I think they're better than Yeti or I prefer them over Yeti. I guess it's like a preference thing, but definitely invest in one of these if you feel like you don't drink enough water or you maybe aren't drinking quickly enough and things get warm. Let's head more into beauty. So if you don't maybe like sitting in the sun, I know the sun is bad for you guys. I wear SPF 30 or 50, depending on when I pull out that day. But if you don't like sitting in the sun, I love the Bondi Sands Everyday Gradual Tanning Milk. So this is gonna be less severe than a fake tan that you kind of sit in overnight or for a couple hours. 
this is definitely more gradual and more natural because you don't want to be out in the sunlight and people can see like the line on your hands or maybe something you missed or it's like really patchy in the daylight it's gonna look really bad so this is literally impossible to mess up and it is a nice natural gradual tan and then also you want to exploit fake tans off once they're getting you know kind of more patchy which you don't really have patching problems with gradual tan, but you want to exfoliate. You want to exfoliate just any dry skin off because you're wearing definitely less clothing in the summer, so you don't want any like dry skin or patches. This Tree Hut Firming Sugar Scrub, I have mocha and coffee bean. This stuff is so good. I use my Duval body brush and I do it all over my legs and like my butt and all the things. It just it works so well. Just getting all the dead skin off. They actually apparently have a firming lotion that is the dupe for the Bum Bum, Sol de Janeiro Bum Bum Cream. It's firming and it apparently smells identical, but it's sold out on Ulta and Amazon right now. I'll link it down below because I heard it's a dupe, but I haven't tried it yet. But this scrub is one of the best scrubs for exfoliating and getting a big tan off that I've ever tried. I'm someone who wears tinted moisturizer year round. I don't like a full foundation. It's just, it's a lot. I don't want to be a cake face, but I have been loving the Maybelline Dream BB Fresh BB Cream. Right now I'm shade medium. They have a blue version of this and I think that helps treat acne at once, but this also is a eight benefits in one because it blurs imperfections, enhances, brightens, adjusts the skin tone, hydrates, and it has SPF 30, which I really want in the summer. You want to wear sunscreen year round, but especially in the summer. So this is really nice or the blue one, it does not matter. I am shade 120 medium right now. It just kind of changes and this is like $8. So I have it in three different shades. And then since your makeup is definitely more natural in the summer, I have some fake lashes. If you still want to, you know, get glam, I actually have the Ardell natural ones on right now. So I love these. They're like under 10 bucks. And then the Ardell naked lashes are also really natural and nice. You don't want like a huge tarantula on your face and then like a tinted moisturizer and some liquid blush on. So I think these are really nice, really natural options. And they're really, I'd say beginner friendly. And then also super affordable because let's say you don't like the way it looks or you're maybe just not good at applying fake lashes. Like you're not gonna feel badly tossing these out or giving them to a friend. I like to wear brighter blushes in the summer. I have this Milani blush in Coralina. It's so stunning. A little goes a long way. This thing is super pigmented, but I love like a bright corally pink brush blush. So love this. Again, super pigmented. Like literally tap your brush in once, shake it off, and then put it on because it is a lot. And then I have the Maybelline Lifter Gloss. I have it in shade Stone and I have one other. Again, it is in a purse. I swear I lose lip products like no other. Like I hope it's not melting in my car right now. This gloss is amazing and the colors I've tried, it is so nice. Super affordable, like under $8. You can get it at Amazon or Ulta. It's really nice. It's like a doe foot applicator. It's pretty large. It smells really good. Oh, it's like a sweet vanilla scent, but it has just enough pigment. It's definitely not as pigmented as a lipstick, but it's a way more pigmented gloss in terms of lip glosses, but definitely check this out if you want like a more natural look that gives you a little bit of pigment, but it's not as obvious that you're wearing a lip color. Since you're showing more skin, I like to have kind of a body glitter. So when I apply it, I used to apply it with my hands and then I had glitter all over my hands for like over a day. Like I could not wash it off with soap. So I have this, I think it's GRT. I don't know if that's how you say it body brush so what I do is I either put the glitter right on my body and blend it in like so or I put it on the blush the brush and but I cannot say blush and brush I keep getting them interchanged but and then I put it on my body my legs my arm especially my collarbones it has a really nice shape that just like hits your collarbones so well so this is really nice I don't have any Amazon glitters I'm sure you can find them but I have a couple to talk about so first is the ColourPop Soul I got shade well, I'll never know. I think this is when they only had like one or two shades and now they have a whole range because I got this so long ago. I swear I use it even though it doesn't look like it, but this is super affordable. And then if you want to splurge a little, the Patrick Ta for Body Major Glow Oil is really nice. I'd say you're not really missing out if you buy the cheaper one. Like I really like this, but it gives you very similar shine and texture, so you can't go wrong with either of these. Yeah, I have two more Amazon products, and the rest are Nordstrom, the grocery store, because I have some food. So first is I have my hair up a lot in the summer when I'm at the pool, when I'm going on walks or at the gym, and to get a high pony is sometimes so difficult. So what I really like is this brush, like my hairs are on it. It is a bore bristle brush, 
brush oh my god i cannot say that word today at all it really just smooths your whole ponytail out like i like to brush my hair like normal put it up in a ponytail and then i take this at the end and really smooth everything out it is really nice and really dense and then the last amazon product is a 10 skin solution for ingrown hairs razor bumps from shaving and waxing this stuff is so good for either your legs bikini line armpits because again you're wearing less clothing so no one wants ingrown hairs or razor burn like it does not look appealing so this has really helped i believe there's an oil and then i have the roll-on comes with a lot of product and then it's just a roll-on it has a really strong alcohol scent i would say but this stuff really works you can use it i think twice a day on dry skin and i have definitely noticed a difference because i used the billy razor for a couple months and honestly i hated it and i know people rave about it but i really hated it and i switched over to a venus like sensitive skin it is so much better on having way less issues do not get the billy razor it is terrible <laughs> on to the rest of my summer favorites that are not on amazon so first i have a pair of sunglasses that are from key I actually have found a semi-Amazon dupe that I'll link both below because it's $15 and this one's $60. I know these look like you just got like your cataracts done, but I love these. I just get like Kris Jenner vibes, Chloe, like I love these. They're so nice. I'm obsessed with them. I think they're fashionable and cute and they're so large. Like I love hiding my face in these sometimes. So I'll link both these and the Amazon dupe below because it's a fourth of the price on Amazon and I've seen a lot of people talk about it. I really want them. If I lose these, I'm just gonna get those and not the key ones. And then I got these on vacation from Nordstrom. They were on sale for 10, they're usually 15. They had a couple colors. They're so flattering on my face shape. I actually bought a second pair just in case I lose these, but I love these. I think they're the perfect aviator size. And again, they were $10, so I can just throw my purse or beach bag and not feel too guilty about it. I don't know why these aren't on Amazon yet because they do have elf products, but the cream blushes are amazing. I have six of them and they are so good. I dip my brush right in them. I apply them like a couple, like three times dipping back and forth. So natural. They have so many good shades. I recommend literally all of them. I love them. They are $5. They're so worth it. You can get it at Target, Walmart, Ulta, hopefully Amazon soon because they're so good. Then also because I was saying before, you always have your hair up. I love a good claw clip. I got this one from my hairdresser and I also got a Chanel one from there. They're just so cute. I'll link some Amazon ones below because again, I have them and they have, you know, gone missing and per usual. But these are so nice to have. They just make pulling your hair up a little more fashionable and put together and just a little different than a ponytail. I like using these around the house when I'm going for walks, when I'm going to the pool. So a little cute claw clip. <laughs> Guys, I am struggling. This is the second video I filmed today. But, and then you can just add something special and different to your outfit. It's just a whole other accessory that you can add on to kind of spice things up. Realize I actually have one more Amazon thing. So you definitely want to look bikini ready in the summer. So I have two workout things. So the first one are booty bands. These are like $18 and they're so nice. They're three different strengths that you can kind of work yourself up to. These are so good. They don't snap like the little stretchy ones. They're really thin and elastic. Those can break on you. I've had these for God, three years plus. I recommend them to everyone. They have this set and then they have like a gray and black set that aren't as, you know, bright and in your face. These are so good and it's so nice. They have three different strengths on them. So Amazon, really affordable. And then I recently got these for my birthday. They are the Bala Bands. They come in one and two pounds. They can either go around your wrists or your ankles and they come in this like really cute pack. So if you're traveling, maybe you're at the beach and you just wanna do like a quick workout before you get in your bikini, you this might be a little more difficult to pack unless you're in the car if you're driving, then the weight doesn't matter. But I have definitely brought these in my suitcase when I've flown before, just so I can have them in the hotel room. But both of these are really little, like workout things that make a really big difference. All right, last two items, they're food, really random. So first I have the Fox Bros barbecue rub. I think you can only get this in Georgia. Maybe they can mail it other places. So Publix had it. And then of course you can get this at the restaurant. This is so good. We went to a friend's house to grill out and I feel like you have a lot more barbecues and grill outs in the summer because you're outside and the weather's better. So he put this on my chicken and I was like, um, where'd you get this I need to buy it so I bought one so good on like chicken potatoes you can put on like a million different things so definitely check this out Fox Bros rub for barbecue chicken literally anything and then I don't really think this is like summer related but it's super sour Scandinavian swimmers from Trader Joe's I have gone through three bags of these I'm definitely gonna have a cavity like the end of summer 
but oh my god they're so refreshing they're so nice they're like a better version of sour patch kids and i've just been loving these lately so i just really wanted to just add in the video even though it has nothing to do with summer that wraps up today's video i hope you guys enjoyed i will link everything down below let me know if you have any questions about anything and tell me what your favorite summer items are please subscribe if you haven't already this video a thumbs up and i'll see you in my next video